Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa, creative team member for Whimsy Stamps, and I'm going to give you an introduction to digital stamps. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find the digital images on Whimsy Stamps and how to go about downloading those to your laptop or desktop and in go ahead and extract those files so that you can open them in other programs to resize those. So to get started, I want to show you where you can find digital images on the website. So we're on the Whimsy Stamps website and we're going to go to this digital tab here and you can see you have a couple of options for looking through the images. You can search through release month here, January, February, and March, and then you can also search through artist, look at all the digital images. You can have, a, there's a few themes there for you to search through. So that's where all of the digital images are for purchase. So if you're looking for some images to purchase, that's where you're going to go find those. Now, if you're looking for digital freebies, you're going to come over to the promotions tab and go ahead and scroll down to that digital freebies and click on it. And it's going to take us to the digital freebies webpage. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down some, and you can see there's some, um, directions there at the top that will help you walk you through downloading these. And then you're going to be able to scroll down and find, several freebies in here and we're going to be working with TP Dudley today. So what we're going to do is right below each image there's a download link and this download link is going to take you to Dropbox where we store these images. So you're going to click on that link and it's going to open up this drop down box. Here's our TP Dudley file. We're going to come right to the right to this download button and we're going to do a direct download to our laptop or desktop. Now, if you have Dropbox, you can save this to your Dropbox. Go ahead and click, click that direct download so that we can save this to our uh, laptop or desktop. Now the save as window is going to open. And here you're just going to decide where you want to save your images. So for me, I'm just going to save them directly to my desktop. Now this is a compressed zipped folder. All that means is there's more than one file in this folder that's compressed so that it's quicker to download it and it doesn't lose the high resolution that you need with digital images. So we're going to go ahead. I'm saving it to desktop and I'm going to click save. Now you can save yours to wherever you want on your computer. That is completely up to you. Now, once you click that save, you're going to see that there's this little box that opens up at the bottom of your screen and you see it says T TP Dudley zip. Now you can click the arrow to the right and go hit open and it'll open the file or you can just go ahead and click on the box and that's going to open it for you. Now these are zip files and what we need to do is extract these so that we can use them. So you're going to see, you're going to get five different files in this one folder. So let's go ahead and go up to extract all and go ahead and click on that. So this is going to go ahead and extract those files and put them in a file that allows us to just click on the file and open it up in Word or PicMonkey, Photoshop, anything like that. Now here you're going to see it's asking you, where do you want to save these files once you extract them? Again, I'm going to the desktop with mine. You can save yours to wherever you want on your computer. Now I'm opening them up and you can see you're going to get two sentiments and two of the images. What that is, is one is a JPEG and one is a PNG. Now all a PNG is, is a image that has a transparent background around it. And that's really what I prefer when I'm working with digital images. And if you want to know more about PNG files, check out one of the other videos where I'm going to walk, walk you through opening the images up, resizing them. And I'm going to talk more about the difference between the JPEG and the PNG. So I hope this video was helpful for you today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. And I hope you have an amazing day.